more about my true identity. I was born from refugee families fleeing U.S. bombs, landmines, genocide, and violence that tried to take away my ethnic and cultural pride. Books never taught me about my struggles, my family's struggles, my people's struggles, because when we made it to America, there was so much more shit to juggle. People have colonized and bombed my country, but they'll, no, no, but they'll never colonize and bomb my identity. Day after day, night after night, there was never a time my people tried to live in a peace without a fight. Books in schools can teach us all about injustices such as violence, but real knowledge comes from real experience. I used to wonder why I was never accepted for being me, but the reality is that we live in an unjust society. I used to wonder why my parents cried on New Year's Day when the truth was that they only had five bucks to spend or use it at the store to play. I used to wonder why the kids in my hood were gangbanging when it turns out that they lacked support from every angle which left them hanging. But just because we have to deal with all of these forms of violence, let's not forget where we came from and eliminate all the ignorance. We all have the full potential to live up to everything that we stand for, which is something we will continue to learn, prosper, and explore. Take a look at the beautiful legacies our ancestors left for us, and realize that hope for the better is something we all need to work on and discuss. Look at that bayon and learn about it, because we're all capable, smart, and not idiotic. It's the first temple in Cambodia to be built without walls, representing openness not just to gods and kings, but to all. The walls are built with daily lives of our people, symbolizing the heart of our people's soul. When King Jayavaraman ruled, he made it his masterpiece as a marriage between his people to create and recreate happiness, which is something we can all embrace through all our successes. Look at the Bayon smiling faces because this beautiful thing in our culture is something we can and will embrace. Never forget where I came from, where you came from, where we came from, because we're all prideful for who we are because we're not dumb.